The HP Catalyst Academy is a whole new approach to professional learning for teachers, so I'm very excited to introduce to you the first cohort of HP Catalyst Academy fellows. The course I'm teaching focuses on engineering, and anyone can do engineering. It's not just math and science. It is the application of science with engineering that creates technologies. And engineering is described as designed under constraint. And anyone can do that anywhere in the world. And taking this class will actually get you, give you an opportunity to know how to do that wherever you are, whatever it is that you do. We're co-leading a mini course on social media for STEM teachers. This course talks about how you can utilize social media platforms to engage with other STEM educators around the world. Social media is a wonderful way to engage with your students outside of the classroom and discover new resources for teaching and learning. Sharing out ideas and creativity using social media is an incredible way to grow your base of global education. And if you're not sure which social media resources are going to benefit you most, there's going to be a comparison and you're going to get to try a bunch of new things. It's going to be really exciting. Join us. Teachers who are familiar with project-based learning or uh, challenge-based learning will appreciate what we've developed with the Game Design Toolkit. It's a set of resources that help teachers integrate game design, starting with thoughtful research, with learning game design, with paper prototype development and testing. Uh, it, it weaves that into the curriculum so that students are engaged in, in a topic that they have to learn from 360 degrees. After Good is a course that lets you work with your students in teams, lets them choose a problem or issue that they care about, takes them through the whole design process, really from that problem through to a prototype for a smartphone app or a Facebook app. Along the way, they're going to learn some really valuable technical skills. Yes, it's about coding and programming, but it's understanding that whole design process, really about how they can understand about market research, how they look at user interface. It's about also working within teams and entrepreneurs skills, understanding how you find that niche in the market and make the most of it. When they come out the other end, they don't just have that smartphone app prototype. They have the technical skills, they've got the wider employability skills, they've got those communication skills you want them to have that lets them work within teams and communicate ideas that they care about. So this course will teach you how to integrate remote online labs into your high school science courses. Remote labs are a way for students to access real laboratory equipment housed at universities around the world via their web browser. So it's a great opportunity to expose your students to high-end equipment that they might not otherwise have access to. And uh, taking the course will really help you learn how to integrate it into your classroom uh, in any of the STEM fields. This course being offered by Polar Bears International will give you a first-hand experience in the Arctic. We'll connect you with polar bears, polar bear scientists, climate scientists, and take you on a journey to a place very few people get to see. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our Introduction to Geospatial Technologies course. What we hope to accomplish is to uh, expose teachers at both the secondary and college level to uh, spatial awareness and spatial technology and act as a segue into this industry, which uh, I think Google recently said was $170 billion uh, worldwide. And so it's a technology that crosses many different disciplines from biology to sociology. And we think it's a, a, a STEM topic that would be of great interest to you and your students. So this course will give you a chance to see uh, what it's all about. Uh, my class is about using Scratch in the classrooms to develop computer science concepts. You know, in this world, we talk about 21st century skills. It is important that so students learn to develop problem solving inventive thinking, creativity, and communication. And my class is going to help in that. So the course that we have is uh, building a framework for digital fabrication. And it's a really cool uh, way to connect the state and national standards and curriculum to hands-on opportunities for kids in the classroom using all sorts of really cool, exciting tools that are available. That's what's really exciting about this course is we're going to create a plan for you to connect your content to the use of tools, materials, and machines that right now are exciting kids. I mean, the kids uh, want to see 3D printed things. They want to see laser cut uh, products. And uh, if they can apply it to a project that they're working on, that's quite a hook. This particular course is geared towards helping you learn to use a tool. It's called Ink Survey, and it helps you receive instantaneously from students something they've drawn using pen-enabled mobile technology. 
it's, it's like a magic piece of paper that you give the students. And when they write on that, uh, you on your computer can see all of those responses uh, and uh, re understand what the students don't understand and respond, change your instruction. It, it's an exciting new way to teach. So at Taking It Global, we empower young people to understand and act on the world's greatest challenges. And with our education programs, we're really focusing on the emerging values of global citizenship, student voice, and environmental stewardship. As part of the HP Catalyst Academy, we're excited to be developing a new course bringing together project-based learning and climate change through the lens of STEM and really empowering educators to prepare their students to address this essential real-world issue. Um, so we hope you'll join us on this journey, uh, join the mini course, and really uh, prepare to engage your students in a whole new way through real-world project-based, challenge-based learning. You will like this class. This is a class in which you will get an opportunity to engage with an e-portfolio. So you'll be right in there getting a sense of what it feels like to be one of your students in this environment. It's based on the idea of um, lifelong learning and being able to solve problems, uh, being able to think critically, um, being reflective about one's learning. Uh, being able to communicate what, about one's learning, which are all certainly very important for any, uh, any learner and uh, certainly important for a learner in science and mathematics. I'm going to teach you in this course how to flip your class and how to get your students to do your lectures, your, watch your videos and your readings at home and do the homework in class. By doing this, you can make your class much more effective than a traditional lecture homework approach. Uh, my mini course will enable you school teachers to use ICT more creatively in your lessons, uh, to engage your students so they can learn their STEM activities more successfully uh, and give them more independent control over their work. Since the beginning of time, man has been trying to create connections between where we live and how we live. If you think about cave paintings as an early form of maps, and then the Google Maps that we have today, we seem to have this fascination with sharing our place in time and space. And even if your classroom doesn't have the technology that you think it should have, nevertheless, your school is on that map. And for the first time in human history, we are sharing one map of the world. And we are obligated to teach our students that they are part of a global community. So my course, is about leading you through an online journey to explore the world and give you the tools that you need to be able to communicate to your students just how much they matter in this global community. Well, I'm really excited about where this is going. These are wonderful HP Catalyst Academy fellows. These courses sound fantastic. I hope you can join us on this journey and I can't wait to see how this grows.